rocking with you YouTube. Pack is back. Pack is back. Um, yeah. Uh, OTAs. Was it week two of OTAs? I guess they had media out there at the pa Packers practice. Packers practice. Um, showing them just running through drills, t-shirt and shorts. Um, learning as much as they can. And in the middle of that, the NFL says, hey, we decided to uh, push the OTAs back, which I think is a huge mistake for the growth and development of the young players that they got coming into the league. I don't know why the NFL is trying to cram everything all together. Um, I think that that's going to hurt the players more than help them. Um, of course, you know, a lot of these guys, they're already going to be doing off-season training anyway. But still, you want the group activities for your young players to be how they are now. So when they do approach training camp, um, nothing is new or foreign to them. And, you know, the, the, the NFL trying to push it back to where everything is all crammed together so they can have a longer training camp. I think it's dumb. Just make the training camp longer, but keep the shit the way that it is. If you want to if you want to have the best product, you know what I'm saying, on TV out of all the other sports. Uh, uh, Like, I don't get it. <laughs> All this changing and changing. Some things just need to stay the same because it works. You know what I'm saying? You know, I think them. I think they just getting a little ahead of themselves. I mean, I, I don't know why Roger Goodell is, you know, trying to cut some of these preseason games down to two preseason games to basically none at all. Where we'll have a 22-week football season. You know, um... I don't think it's going to be good for the game. I'm going to probably see these quarterbacks throwing for 6,000 passing yards now. Now that they got an extra game to play, they're already passing for 5,000 yards. Um, if you do that, you're going to turn it into a 22-game season. Might as well add more, uh, uh, add more players to the fucking to the depth chart or to the roster. You know what I mean? Help the teams out. But it is what it is. Um, I guess, like Matt LaFleur said, man, we just got to adjust to whatever they want to do. Um, it was good to see all of the players uh, during a press conference. You're starting to see a little bit more maturity out of uh, Jair Alexander and his press conferences. You know, last year he was doing a lot of silly shit. But, you know, it's part of his personality to try to keep the locker room upbeat. But he did say that the communication between the coaches and the staff is a lot more easier this year than it was in the previous seasons that he played when he was playing with, or he played with the team. Um, good to see Eric Stokes feeling a hundred percent, you know, he's right on track. He's looking fast out there to where now he don't know, he don't got to concentrate on rehabbing the hammy. He could just go out there and play football. Um, Matt, wants to see more Quay, Quay Walker stepping up in that leadership role. And I totally agree with him. Um, Quay is not a rookie anymore. He's a vet. Christian Watson is not a rookie anymore. He's a vet. Romeo Dobbs is not a rookie no more. He's a vet. You got Devontae Wyatt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he ain't no vet no more. We'd love to see more of him out there um, making his presence felt. You know, Jordan Love is not a rookie, not on his first year anymore. He's now coming into his own. Uh, so I think the biggest problem with Green Bay right now, I would have to definitely say offensive line and our kicker. You know, um, I expect when the season starts to see a lot of shuffling of this offensive line, like as of now, you know, if I was to start an offensive line, it would probably be Rasheed Walker, uh, left tackle, Elton Jenkins, uh, Myers at center, maybe, um, jo maybe Jordan Morgan at right guard. And then, you know, put, um, 
Zach Tom at the end at the right tackle position. Uh, but, you know, it might not be like that. You know, we still got Sean Ryan, the guy we picked up, Andre Dillard, you know, uh, Monk. You know, we still got a lot of guys who I think will probably be a starting center for Green Bay probably next next year. I mean, this is Josh Myers last year on his contract. Um, so he might not be there next year. So this might be an opportunity for Green Bay to really get a look at who should be the starting center at the starting center for the for the offensive line for the future. They might get a chance to have a good look at it this year and see where the chips may fall um, at that position. Um, can't leave out Sean Ryan and the uh, other guys that we got. I think we got like 14 offensive linemen that we're dealing with right now in the camp. Of course, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure Matt is going to try to knock that down to 10 guys um, or Goop. We'll see what happens. But for the most part, man, you know what I'm saying? It's good that, you know, the team is all there. You know what I'm saying? We don't got nobody sitting out of OTAs. I mean, unless it's some, unless something, unless it's something to where you can't be there at this point in time. You know what I'm saying? So I totally understand that. It was a few guys that wasn't there today, but uh, Matt LaFleur said as long as they communicating with us, then uh, everything is uh, all good. So it's just a quick little video drop right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, before I end the video, we will be in Green Bay. Vikings versus Packers. I already got my plane tickets locked in. Got to get my tickets. Got to get the hotel room. Um, I'm going to try to get a hotel room close to, to Lambeau Field. Uh, so, yeah, I was supposed to go to a college football game where the USC Trojans would face off against the Wisconsin Badgers, but I'm going to have to push, a, push that game back to another game. I might go to uh, USC versus Penn State. That might be the game I go to. Um, so, but yeah, we locked in for Lambeau, uh, September 27th, Sunday. I think it's a noon game facing off against the Minnesota Vikings. I will be in Lambeau Field. It is now an official. We jumping on this year early, so it don't have to be waiting. None of that horse shit. Pay for the shit. Get out there. Have a great time and root for the team to win. So with that being said, man, before I end this show, can I get a Go Pack Go? Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out Packer Fan in Vegas, uh, Big Nate, Packer Fans with Swag. Check out uh, Wake and Pack with Higher Point of View. Um, am I forgetting somebody? Oh, Packers Kingdom. Check him out. Uh, it's a few other guys too I can't think of right now But yeah man Go check out them channels man Got Packer content uh, going on right now um, I should have dropped this video a long time ago Well earlier today But you know I was ripping and running In the streets and shit like that um, Got to head up to Oakland Tomorrow See my daughter graduate high school get uh, So she could finish this uh, Horse shit portion Of her life um, but yeah, man, remember to take care of yourself, man. Love your family and always try to keep an upbeat, positive attitude and a smile on your face, man. Remember, this is the channel that represents the greatest football team in American sports history, the Green Bay Packers. Go Pack. I tell you, Pack is back. Good.